Hello, friends, my fellow people, the paint people. <laughs> All right, great start. What's going on, everyone? It's James from The Paint People. Six videos a week on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Today, we're having a bit of a trip down memory lane because Benjamin Moore recently announced their six most popular paint colors, or at least the six most sampled paint colors from 2022. You're going to want to see this because there's some surprises and then also some not surprises. And I guess since we're on the subject of testing, if you are a fan of testing, which you should be, get your sample pots and then get some mighty boards too, because they're large tester boards that are flexible and just very good quality. They hold paint really well. So if you're doing testing, do it the right way, do it the mighty way. All right, we're gonna go over to my screen over here. And I actually preloaded these colors one by one. Don't try and zoom in and spoil it, okay? So the first color of these most sampled colors of the year happens to be the previous color of the year. Easy money. October Mist, okay. So yeah, October Mist, I like this color a lot, actually. It's a very subtle, kind of soft, sagey green. It marked the end of grayish in my mind because we were dominated by all these warm neutrals everywhere and maybe some whites and off whites as well. And this kind of gave color a little bit of a rebirth. Personally, I'm more of a November rain fan, even though I was born in October, so I should ultimately like this one better. But it's no surprise that one of the colors that was sampled the most in 2022 would be the color of the year for 2022. That's gonna change next year because raspberry blush is the 2023 color. So I'm really curious to see how many samples of that will be sold. But I guess we gotta wait a year to find out. Next up we have Chantilly Lace. Now what did Chantilly Lace ever do to me, right? Why am I so hard on this color that is seemingly so innocent? It's just a stark bright white. It's the brightest white you can get. And as a painter, the brighter the white is, usually the more finicky it is to cover with. And one of my contractor buddies who always swears by Regal, not Aura, actually noticed the coverage to be better with Chantilly Lace in the new Aura product. So maybe, maybe I can be convinced to use it more often. But at the end of the day, I do get why this color is so popular. It's really bright. In fact, it's the brightest white that Benjamin Moore makes. So you can't really argue with that. It's very stark and crisp. But that also kind of leads me to believe like, maybe you don't need to sample it because it's just gonna be white, right? The next color kind of justifies this choice a little bit to me, and that is Hail Navy. Hail Navy is the quintessential navy by Benjamin Moore, in my mind. It's kind of like Pharaoh Ball's Hag Blue. If you want navy, that's the one you get. If you want navy of Benjamin Moore, this is the one that is always recommended. And I do think there is a little bit of sort of the cyclical effect of a color being popular and then therefore being recommended more. And then the more it's recommended, the more popular it gets. And there's this self-fulfilling prophecy with colors. But that being said, Hail Navy is a fantastic color. I've used it many times. I know a lot of my cabinet coat friends love this color in conjunction with Chantilly Lace. There is a timelessness to both of those colors. But the next color is probably my favorite off-white to put on cabinets, White Dove. Good old White Dove. This is a color, it's soft and understated, has warmth to it, but it doesn't feel yellowy. It doesn't feel like oil-based paint that has yellowed over time. It's very soft and subtle and delicate. Anytime you want something on woodwork, whether it's your baseboards, your trim, wainscoting, whatever, this is a color that I often recommend for those people that don't want something cool or even just, just stark and sterile. Next up we have Pale Oak. And this one's interesting to me because I know how popular Pale Oak is. It is a light neutral after all. I guess we haven't veered too far away from that in this past year. It's not a color that I recommend a ton because there is another color that is quite similar that I tend to prefer and that's Classic Gray. But their similarities are very, very close. I almost think Pale Oak is a little more progressive because it doesn't look too green like some other gray beige colors that exist. And I think it has a ton of versatility, but it's also not something I see as often as like an Edgecomb Gray or a Revere Pewter. You know, those colors have been around forever and have been popular forever. And guess what? They still are. <laughs> One of the most sampled colors in 2022 is Revere Pewter. 
the tried and true color that everyone seems to love, or at least seems to sample. This is another example of one of those colors that just gets used so much and is circulating all over the internet that it just becomes part of the zeitgeist. I love that word. It just becomes part of the consciousness of interior design and paint colors where we all know Revere Pewter. You at least gotta try it out. You don't need to go for it, but just try it. <laughs> it's a bit of a default color, but I guess there's nothing wrong with that because if you sample this and then you realize, hmm, not what I expected. You can go and make those little adjustments. Find a color that's less green. Find a color that's a bit lighter. Find a color that has a lot more saturation. So I'm totally supportive of this choice, but uh, yeah, nothing new here. <laughs> I'm just wondering, have you sampled one of these colors this year? Or maybe you might sample one next year? If you wanna know more about Revere Pewter, we have a video right over here all about it. And now we wait to see what 2023 has in store. Coral everywhere!